Hello and welcome. Tonight I want to play a song for you by Jerome Kern called The Way You Look Tonight. A beautiful song, very popular song. A standard. I'm going to play it in the key of E flat major. And I'm going to illustrate a few different techniques which I'll talk about later on. Uh, specifically, I'm going to play this using the drop two voicings, spread voicings, some fourth voicings, and also rootless chords in the left hand along with some arpeggiated movement in the left hand. And this arrangement will be available to you to download for free on my website. So here we go now with Jerome Kern's Just the Way You Look Tonight. want to talk about some of the techniques I'm using, specifically the drop two technique which works very well with this song because of the rising melodic line, the ascending melodic line. But I have this introduction that I've done which is a C minor and then I use a couple of diminished chords here like this, a D diminished to an E diminished and then this is a B flat seven chord and then augmented taking us to the one chord which is an E flat 6 9 now that means I automatically have fourth voicings because you have root third six nine so there you can see that these intervals here are four, perfect fourths here 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 and here perfect fourths and that goes to another voicing that's perfect fourths like that the C minor 11 now the next chord is an F minor, but now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm voicing it with a drop two. So that means I'm taking this, these chords like this. And notice that they alternate between a minor six chord or a minor seven chord and a diminished chord. So there you have my, an F minor seven to a C or like a B flat diminished or a C7 flat 9 to an F minor to it. So now I'm taking this note and dropping it down an octave. So the second note from the top 
this creates this really nice sound like this. Now that works really well with this song because of that rising line. And then it continues like this. Then it continues and then rises up to here. So now that's all drop two like this. Now you notice that that creates a here it has an E flat major 7 to an F minor. Then this is the E diminished or G diminished, however you want to look at it, E diminished, back to the F minor, then a C7 flat 9. So those dominant 7 flat 9s are also diminished in their quality. And here we go again. And here's another diminished chord up to the to the B flat. 9 sus chord. Then here's a tritone substitute, an A7 with a sharp 11. And now this descending line, and I voiced it this way, A flat, 6 to E flat over G, to G flat, 7 to F minor 7, to a B flat 9 sus, to a B flat altered, and then this figure. So. The main thing I want you to understand is how I'm using the drop two in there and how this applies to this song, the rising line. That type of thing works very well in any song that has that type of a line in it. Now the second time through I do the same thing, but when I get to that rising line, like where I was using the drop two, the second time I vary it by making those fourth voicings. So that's this. That's a fourth there, another fourth here, and there's the melody note. So Everything is voiced in, in fourths, like this. Then I go here to a drop two. There, I want to change it to a diminished chord. Same thing again here now. Then I use a, here I use a, sub, a tritone substitute. And another tritone substitute there, so a little bit different. Here I'm using, on the bridge, I'm using mostly spread voicings like this. So now, sometimes I'll arpeggiate the chords in the left hand, but a lot of times I'll use tenths when I'm using spread voicings. Like that. I'm always looking to find the ninths in the chord. Like there you have a D flat with a nine in it flat 7 with a 9 and then I'll put the flat 9 in it there like that to create some kind of movement harmonic movement when there's nothing going on like I'm just holding the, the chord I'll create some movement like like that either descending in the bass or creating harmonic movement in the right hand there's another diminished chord now there's a rootless chord what does that mean? That it's an A flat minor seven, but the root, I'm putting the root down here, and then I'm playing a rootless chord up here, and then moving it to a D flat dominant seven flat nine, and then G flat. Now here's a substitute chord. That's an A13 chord, or an A7, that is approaching the A flat minor 11. And then I use this tritone substitute again here. Then I put the flat nine there. So you really need to study the arrangement to understand this because I'm going through this quickly. I don't want this to be like a 30 minute uh, tutorial. I just want to get through it. And then I use, here I use a parallel. Here's the fourths again. Notice that it has a certain sound and so I move it parallel like this. Up to the two chord, then I use a tritone substitute here. That's an E7 with a sharp 11. There's. Remember how to find that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then sharp. Yeah. And that's essentially it. That's what I'm doing. That Those are the most important things I want you to try to see in this. How I use the drop two voicings. And you want to check my previous uh, videos that illustrate the drop two voicings in greater detail and also the spread voicings but this is a accumulating these various techniques into one arrangement
Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, send me a comment or a question, and I appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.